my name is Tara. Hello, my name is Mehdi. Hi, my name is Samantha. Hello, I'm Nicole. I was working in a high level within a health trust. However, I was made redundant some years ago, which it absolutely came to me as a shock. Since then, I have found it difficult to find a suitable position, even though I have dumbed down my CV. Three years ago, I gained a degree in business information systems. However, uh, at my age, uh, as a mother, I found it quite hard to uh, get a job in IT. If I could get a job in the past, I can certainly do it now because I have got more life experience and I'm not going to walk away from a job six months later because I'm going to find another job. All I need is a chance, but unfortunately, Employers can't do this if they assess my CV in six seconds. Having lost your job knocked down your confidence and also dumbing down your CV. You can't even celebrate your successes. Somebody with all my experience and background, it's in a way a loss on the potential employer because they are missing out on somebody who has a lot of interpersonal skills. I am trying to keep positive, uh, even though I sometimes feel that uh, there is no hope uh, for me in the future anymore. Um, however, I am surrounded with nice people at uh, voluntary work, and uh, that keeps me positive and gives me hope. <laughs> I'm a mother of two and I have been a mother for the last nine years. It's been a fantastic experience, however I've also been a professional woman working in compliance and quality assurance for the past 15 years. And since becoming a mother, which was a blessing of course, it has also become very difficult on a professional level. There are apparently no part-time positions out there for compliance professionals that work on a team leader level or above. I'm a University of Brighton student. Um, I'm a single mum to my six-year-old daughter and have been studying at the University of Brighton for the last three years, trying to provide a better future for both of us. Trying to balance everything and obviously with commitments, childcare and trying to get part-time work as well. It is kind of hectic, but <laughs> it's very worth it. I've been online all day every day trying to find something suitable for both me and Lacey and there's just nothing out there. As a result I've now started my own consultancy business. So for the past year I have put my family's finances at risk in order to try and find part-time work with short-term engagement as a consultant. Because these companies are so hard to find, they're missing out on people like me that have the adequate skills, values and passion for the job role. They're missing out on a big opportunity to have an individual that really wants that job. I can say hand on heart about all of those who manage to obtain part-time positions, one way or another, that they worked sometimes even harder than full-time persons delivering a full-time job during part-time hours. Hopefully, more and more employers are starting to see the challenges in retaining talent by not providing flexible working opportunities and considering the human factor. Despite us wanting to give as much to an employer to as possible, we have to consider that we're humans, we have family, and we cannot just work seven days a week, 24 hours a day. Wayfinder women can help women 
basically come back out of their shell after they've been knocked back once or twice or a million times. Six months ago, I was totally different person. Uh, since then, I became more confident uh, and positive. Laura gives personal attention and support to all volunteers in the organization and coaches us on a, a personal basis. She has created an environment which women like myself are given the opportunity to share with these our feelings, with these our experiences. This organisation has been amazing for me. It's actually really helped my self-esteem and given me great confidence to talk to people, talk in front of people and feel accepted as a woman. Hello, I'm Laura and I'm the founder of Wayfinder Woman. It's a social enterprise that supports women in the workplace to help them overcome any barriers that they might face in pursuing a career. Now there's a wide variety of barriers that women have come across and for some it might seem as though they're quite superficial but for others it can be quite traumatic for them and for those women in particular the journey back can take some time. When you make it easy you can tap into a huge resource of women. Women want to work. We can help the women. Now it's time for you to step up to the mark too.